In this video, Nomos Crypto will cover Elrond blockchain and its dApps, especially Maya Exchange. In the final part of the video, you'll find a practical step-by-step -step guide on how to interact with the protocol. To follow my studies, please subscribe the channel, activate notifications and like this video. In the ocean of the internet, I think of each blockchain as an independent island with its own laws official currency, shops, and inhabitants. To disembark on Elrond Island, we navigate to elrond.com. Elrond's currency is eGold, which is used to pay for commission to sign transactions and smart contracts. The blockchain consensus mechanism is secure proof-of-stake, which allow users to delegate their eGold to validator nodes to contribute to the security of the network and receive new eagles as a reward for this. To store the eagles and the other network tokens, you can use the Elrond Wallet, Ledger Live, or the Mayar app from your smartphone, which is the one I use and with which you can receive $10 of cash back on your first purchase. Please consider using my link in the description below. Indeed, in the blockchains that allow smart contracts, it is possible to create new tokens. Unlike the Ethereum blockchain, which uses the ERC20 standard for its tokens, Elrond uses the Elrond standard digital token. In order to exchange network tokens between them, the DAP, decentralized application, Meyer Exchange, exists on Elrond. And to attract money on the DEX, the protocol offers its native token to users who stake their liquidity, a bit like SushiSwap does on Ethereum. If you're not sure about what an exchange is, maybe an example will help you figure it out. If you have ever bought Bitcoins in exchange for US dollars on Binance, it means that you have relied on a centralized exchange where you use the BTC USD payer. Even a DEX allows trading thanks to asset payers. But it is in a decentralized application where anyone can sell their tokens without the need for a central intermediary, as if it were a marketplace. The first payer available on the Meyer exchange was Eagle USDC. USDC is a stable coin issued by Circle Internet Financial Limited which wants to maintain its value always equal to that of the US dollar. The Elrond team, therefore, first of all had to solve a problem. USDC existed on many blockchains, but not on Elrond. They needed a way to bring USDCs from the ERC20 standard of the Ethereum network to the ESDT of Elrond. Remember when I said I imagine every blockchain as an island? The tool that allows this migration is called a bridge. From bridge.elrond.com, user can freeze ERC20 USDC tokens and receive USDC ESDT tokens in exchange, usable on the Mayar exchange. A desert island isn't very invitating though, is it? To attract money, Elrond CEO Benjamin Minku has decided to offer those who deposit their assets in the eagle the USD payer a reward. This is a new token, MEX, which is the governance token of the Meyer exchange and which can be staked to ensure the stability of the protocol and to get back even more MEX. What about who wants to buy or sell MEX tokens? This is possible thanks to the eagle MEX pair and those who gave liquidity to this pair will also get the MEX tokens in return. This reward is expressed in an annual percentage yield and it's given on a daily basis. Those who believe in a project are willing to offer money to get other people giving their idea a chance. The risk is that people interested exclusively in rewards come forward, ready to abandon the protocol when another project offers more advantages incentives and to sell the max obtained as a reward, thus lowering the market price. To curb this problem, Meyer Exchange has created another token, Locket Max, which cannot be sold and which automatically but slowly transforms itself into Max tokens. You can choose whether to receive the rewards in Max or in Locket Max, but if you go for the latter, you will get many more. Better an egg today or a chicken tomorrow? 
From December 16th, 2021, there is a new pair on Meyer, Eagled Ride, which is the token of the Holo Ride project, which combines virtual reality with automotive. You can find more information on the Elrond Launchpad page. The crypto world is highly competitive. Only stability and continuous innovation can allow a project to flourish. Elrond is a blockchain that still has to overcome many tests, especially in terms of decentralization and stability. Do you think it will succeed? Please let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow it closely, take note of the links I leave in the description and that I used to create this video. This video has no advertising. To support me, you can consider using my referral codes, which guarantee an advantage to both you and me. Remember that my contents are for informational purposes only. I do not give financial advices, nor will I ever contact you first. Our step-by-step -step guide on how to interact with Meyer Exchange protocol. The website is Meyer.exchange and we got the homepage and all the other tabs that we're going to use up here. In the homepage, you can see the max price and all the data, main data about the protocol. And let's go for the main thing that you can do as a customer, you can swap tokens ESDT on Elrond network here. In the case of USDC, you can just swap it with eagles. If you want to understand what kind of swap can you make, or if you want to be part of the protocol, so letting other people making the swap and gaining a liquidity provider fee, you have to go to liquidity. Here you see the active pools eagled max, eagled USDC, eagled ride. It means that if you want to change ride for max token, you will have to change ride with eagled and then eagled with max. If you want to add liquidity to a specific pool, you have to provide both asset. As you do this, you will get LP tokens liquidity provider tokens so that if you want to take back your tokens you just need to give back the lp tokens but the funny part is that you can do something with these lp tokens if you can prove yourself a liquidity provider you can put your lp tokens into the farms you can see here lp farms so here you can put your lp tokens and earn a reward for this. As you already know from the first part of this video, you will have to choose if you want to get the reward in token max or in token locked max. You'll get much more, but you will not be able to sell the max token because they are locked and they will unlock themselves very slowly. So you will get much more, but you'll have to wait to sell them. Another chance of farming is farming with the token itself. So if you don't want to put any liquidity in the pools, but you still want to prove that you are a token holder, that you're not going to sell your tokens, you can put them into these farms and get max tokens as a reward 